Here we are at this three bedroom, two bath in Galveston. The front deck is done in a, a ceramic tile. It has classic Spanish architecture with the arches. Looking around, you see it goes from porch to porch to porch. And here's the street. Very, very cute houses. It's a very nice block. Coming around, you got the gray red door. As you come in, you got a huge foyer. All of it is done in a hand scraped laminate flooring that goes throughout the foyer, dining room, and living room. It does have a Spanish inspired staircase and chandelier. Through the arched doorways, you've got what's a giant butler's pantry slash dining room, and then that's the kitchen at the end. And we're going to go through this rectangular one here into the living room. It is very, very large. The windows are all really, really big. And I'm going to go wide so you can, or I'm wide so you can see it. Panning around, you've got a stacked stone fireplace. It's an original fireplace with a new face, but it does not appear to be working. Um, there is a air conditioning heating unit up there. Now, panning around, there's the entryway. We're going to go into the dining room, which is also huge. Great bank of windows here. Looking out to the neighbors, but the light in here is just fantastic. Looking out toward the front, this one does have a ceiling fan and an air conditioner. So the temperature in here is very, very nice. It's about 90 outside, but it feels very nice in here. There's a transition here to a ceramic tile wood floor, and you have the kitchen. It's starting here. We've got cabinets above, all the way around, window with a sink. We continue, another window here, pantry, and you've got your stainless steel refrigerator, um, thin cabinets across. You have the black granite countertop, full-size dishwasher, um, disposal and undermount sink. You got a range, electric gla gas, glass top, microwave. And then around into here, this would be the butler's pantry. It's almost like a small dining room. It does have a chandelier, two windows. And then this whole wall is done in the exact name, matching cabinets as the kitchen. So we've got two cabinets, pantry types on each side, uh, 42 inch in the middle, and then drawers and cabinets underneath. And then this is a matching granite, but it's got the granite backsplash set in. I'm not sure exactly how you use that, but there's gotta be something interesting to do with it. Oh, so I know they do have one original plug here, or switch here, that's the push button, but it doesn't go to anything. I think they just kept it for the original detail. Um, there's a pantry here and right here is a little add-on. So you've got your door here that goes to the backyard and then you've got your main floor bathroom. And it just needs to be cleaned up. It's got your toilet, uh, corner shower, um, washer and dryer connections right here. And then you've got your mirror and a vanity. Um, there is a door here that closes that off, and there's a door that goes to the main house. Step out in the backyard for a minute. It's a very large backyard. It's a good size. Uh, relatively new air conditioner. And then you've got the pad in the back, and the gate's open today, so you can see that you can park two cars in there very easily. Um, and then here on the side, there's another gate. When you open this up, it goes to the street. So this is actually could be a driveway. If you had the concrete, it's already cut out at the street level. So um, it's just a matter of either putting in pavers or pouring the concrete for the drive. And you could park about three cars on the side. So walking back in the yard just a little bit. I look back at the back of the house. And those are two of the bedrooms up there at the top. And there's the gate. And these windows, shutters here form the back wall of the bathroom, so that's why they're painted. So all your living areas are down on the main floor. Cutting through here, there is a closet, and it, is, it does have a security system in case you give it. So you've got a, a closet here, 
which would be your um, technically your formal coat closet. And going upstairs. Again, the same floors throughout the upstairs except for the bathroom. Uh, laminate. You have three bedrooms. They're almost identical in size. They all have ceiling fans. And two of them have five windows and one has four. Each of them has a good sized closet the light and storage underneath over the closet as well. So you got one and here's the second one. Air conditioning, windows, closet with storage over. And on the other side of the hall we got another one. And this one has three and then two standard windows. It doesn't have them sloping up because it's not going over that even in the front of the house. Your closet with over storage, ceiling fan would like it, door. There's a good little space up here at the top floor landing as well um, that could be utilized for something just to make it more comfy, more homey, beachy feeling. Um, there is a closet here on this level for linens and things like that, and it has the storage above as well. And then you have the second floor bathroom. You have an actual linen closet. And then your shower is arched to match the decor. It does have the frameless glass shower door, which is quite nice, very solid feeling. Um, you have a window toilet and then your sink with mirror and light overhead um, and all of this is done in the wood tile this is a this here is a it's the ceramic wood tile and then this is travertine in the shower that matches the floor all right so that's pretty much going to conclude the tour of this beautiful 1924 three bedroom, two bath in the heart of Galveston on Avenue Q. If you're interested, give me a call. William Jenkins, 409-526-9439. We'll see you at the house with the big red door.